everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and excuse the mess. <laughs> As I'm recording this, uh, it is a fur, no, sorry, today is Saturday and it's the 27th of August, but this won't go up for a few days. I wanted to show you the final completion of my diamond painting from Row Diamonds. <clears throat> And I'd like to show you a couple of things that I do as well. Uh, please don't mind the mess. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got to put those away. And Anyway, uh, let me show you what it looks like. So I unboxed this about two years ago on my channel. I'll have a link in the description and in the eye just above. And here it is. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, this was a 30 by 30. Um... Row Diamonds is uh, was a UK company, and the thing about Row was that they would substitute the standard DMC color with ABs, and this kit had two ABs in it. Uh, there you go, you can see it there. Very cute. Um, and let's see. So I think the first time that I worked on this was more than a year ago. Uh, I think it was a year and a half ago that I first pulled this out as something to work on on the couch. <clears throat> At the time I still worked on the couch and used a A2 easel um, to, to work on. And if I can remember, I will link it down below so that you can check it out if you want one of them. It worked perfectly for the recliner. Um, but I have picked this up and put this down several times over the past year and a half because this has popping drills. And that's not, <clears throat> not to say that Row Diamonds is a fault, but the manufacturer of the diamond painting itself uh, included drills that were from Dromageddon. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, basically um, these drills have little knobbly bits on the sides. You can see it right there. Sorry about my terrible nails. I am still growing them out. But they, those little imperfections on the side caused the drills to overcrowd. And in fact, before I finish this, I went through and I picked out quite a lot of them in the background colors and replaced them with smaller drills that were in the bag. So it's fitting a little bit better right now, but I wanted to actually uh, show you the popping process. That's why I have this. So, um, wow, it's almost the same size. Uh, if you listen carefully, you'll hear the snapping of the drills going into place. That's not so bad, um, <clears throat> but it's still very overcrowded. Uh, this is going to be a really short video, but um, I hope you don't mind because you can't buy this kit anymore, so I think it's a little unfair um, to, to talk about it too, too much. I had enough diamonds to do the entire kit, but I am not saving these diamonds. I will save the AB diamonds which were the black AB and the gray AB, just in case I need them for future projects, but I will be tossing the rest into my recycling bag. If you haven't seen this before, this is what I do with my leftover drills that I do not want to keep. These are all bad quality drills. These drills in this bag are the ones that pop, the ones that uh, don't fit properly um, and as you can see I have quite a lot of them because in the past few years I have been uh, how do I put this I have I have been working on the most challenging paintings in the past few years and I think that's what got me out of diamond painting a little bit and um, as you can see I mean <clears throat> I haven't gotten to save diamonds in a long time, and that's why there was a pile of uh, baggies up here in the corner, because I am saving them and I am putting them away. But recently, I have just been taking my diamonds and tossing them in here. Um, what I'm going to do with this bag of unusable diamonds is I will be 
using it as filler for cross stitching projects that I want to turn into little pillows. Um, traditionally you use walnut shells, but I'm going to be using these diamond drills and I will insert a, you know those um, silica packets, the ones that say do not eat. I'll be inserting one of them into each pillow just to make sure that no, um, no condensation or damp gets into the pillow. So I'm going to go ahead and toss the rest of these drills into my recycle bag that I'll use for other stuff. You could also, by the way, um, people ask me every every time <laughs> that they see this, they're like, what else can you do with them? You could use them um, as filler for resin projects. You could... Um, you could do lots of things with them. Just let the creativity flow when it comes to this kind of thing. Um, you could separate them into color families. Um, I mean, some people have made diamond painting pen blanks with these types of, you know, leftover diamonds. But for me personally, I always keep the ones that are of good quality in my storage system, which I will also link in the eye because... <clears throat> My new and updated storage system is much better, uh, although I think I need a third uh, card box. Um, and I keep them for just in case I have a project that needs extra drills or to use my stash for a diamond painting that does not get kitted with drills such as heaven and earth design projects. So that is what I do. And I'm going to seal this diamond painting. I'm going to be using the Amazon sealer that I showed in my Time to Witch video as well. And this, this is a really, really good sealer. It's available on Amazon. I have to breathe. And um, it, does, it does cure really, really fast and it doesn't smell too bad. So I will use this and then it will be ready to go. Um, there's not much else I can really say about this painting because, like I said, it's not available anymore. But one of the things that I noticed as well is that the size of the drills were inconsistent with the ABs as well, uh, which made it even worse like for the overcrowding. Um, but, oh, there's three ABs. I totally forgot. There's a white AB as well. We'll keep that to the side also um <clears throat> but they they pushed the other drills away and I didn't realize that at the time and then I had a, a lot of fixing and going back and trying to find the tiniest you know regular drills that I could to fit around the sizes that inconsistency I'm gonna I'm gonna share an opinion which um not everyone shares but that's fine you get what you pay for, uh, not necessarily with this company, but definitely with this manufacturer. I'm just going to point to this side of this canvas. If you have diamond paintings that come from this manufacturer, regardless of what the company name is, they are skimping on the quality to give you a cheaper price. And you're going to feel it. I mean, it did take me a year and a half to do a 30 by 30 from here. And that's because it was just so frustrating. I would work on it for a day and realize how much I hated working on it. And I'd put it back in the closet. So for me personally, and this may vary from person to person, I know that not everyone's circumstances are exactly the same. But for me personally, I will pay more to have a better experience because this hobby is for my mental health. If this hobby is not something that you do for your mental health, then by all means, buy the cheapest product that you possibly can. But I will warn you that it, you will struggle. It's not easy. And I've known a few people who have almost given up because of how horrible their experience was. And that's why I show the companies on my channel that I believe will be the best for your own mental health. Because <laughs> that's the whole point of me making this channel. So thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, I'm sure you'll see this on the wall behind me this holiday season. Yay! <laughs> Happy September, everyone. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye!